looking at how to set up a My Ether Wallet at MyEtherWallet.com. So when you go here, you'll see Welcome to My Ether Wallet, and there's some things you need to click through to understand for your own safety what uh, My Ether Wallet is. It's not a bank, and you are responsible for the security. So let's click through here. It gives an introduction. It's not a bank. It's an interface. Uh, is what a bank does. It keeps track of personal information, balances, transactions, fees, manages your account, you're writing checks. This is not a bank. It's an interface, as they say here. And then they explain what an interface is. As you create your account on MyEtherWallet, you're generating a cryptograph for a set of numbers, your private key and public key access, handling of your keys, and they never transmit or receive or store your private key. They don't charge a transaction fee simply using the interface with the blockchain. And then you also get a public key and private key. So you can say, what is a blockchain? And they explain what a blockchain is. It's a huge global decentralized spreadsheet. And it's the blocks in the blockchain are made up of individual transactions sent from my Ether wallet. You can think of it like a general ledger at a bank. But why do they do this? To access your account to send funds for you, to recover or change your private key, to recover or set your password, to reverse cancel or refund transactions, to freeze accounts, and you and only you are responsible for your security. So just know that. And then they talk about what the point of Mew is, my Ether wallet. And it's a way to store your Ethereum. You don't have to rely on a bank or a government. You don't have to um, have somebody know your transactions. They're anonymous. And if you don't like the sound of this, you can use Coinbase or blockchain. However, this is how to set up a My Ether wallet, and you can protect yourself by installing an EAL or a MetaMask or Kryptonite. You can also check the URL and make sure that the URL bar is in green. Don't trust messages you get either email, Slack, Reddit, Twitter. Don't go to another site and enter information. Install an ad blocker and keep your public and private keys safe and that should protect you from loss or scams and people may will try to get you to give them money in return for nothing if it's too good to be true it probably is don't jump in scams don't jump in funds if something looks sketchy stay away from it and how to protect yourself from a loss make a backup of your private key and password or just store it on your computer put it on a piece of paper or a usb device don't store your private key in Dropbox or Google Drive or other storage. And if you have more and more weeks worth of pay, or if it get a hardware wallet, no excuses. It's worth it. And we have just one more click. I'm done watching. You can get a hardware wallet. You can set up new meta tasks, and these are a bunch of different things you can do. So you hit done. Now we're finally on to creating our wallet. So let's create a password here. He's just going to make one up. And then we're going to hit create a new wallet. Then I'm going to click download key store file. And this is going to save it. I'm going to save this on my computer. Now, don't lose this. If you lose it, it cannot be recovered. Do not share it. Or your funds could be stolen, they're saying. And as we said before, make a backup. Hit I understand. I continue. Here is your private key. You can copy this. Save this somewhere. Safe. Don't lose it, don't share it, make a backup. And then click save your address. Then there's different ways you can access your wallet, as we said, MetaMisk, Ledger Wallet, Trezor, Digital Box, Sickalot, Key Store, JSON file, mnemonic phrase, private passkey parity. Let's just put this in. Um, it's not necessarily a recommended way. You can do a MetaMask, a hardware wallet, but let's click on lock. And it's going to take a second here. And then here's your address. Here's your private key. Your address is where people have sent. You can print a paper wallet. You can have your address here also as a scan here. You can have your private key encrypted. You can see how secure your tokens, show all tokens that you have. Here's your account address, your balance. And the great thing about this, you just click send ether tokens. You put in your private key again. You hit unlock. Give it a second, and then you can send to address the amount, gas limit, and then you can generate the transaction. You can also send it online. You can look at contracts here, ENS, the main sale, check view wallet info and help. But that's as simple as that. Just create a password, keep your public and private key safe, 
keep all your information safe, make a backup of it, and you should be good to go with your MyEther wallet. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.